This is the second video on how to graph rational functions that contain holes. I cannot wait to get into this. Remember that a hole occurs when there are factors that are common to both the numerator and the denominator, and some of them cancel out. So let's take a look at example two. This is a bit more complex. We've got on the top x times x minus one squared times x minus two squared all over x cubed times x minus one squared times x minus two. And you'll notice there are factors that are common to the top and the bottom. The second factor, actually all three of them have commonality here. We've got x's that are common, we've got x minus one that's common, and we've got x minus two that's common. So let's go ahead and reduce this and see what happens. Let's see if any factor of the denominator just disappears or becomes eliminated. So x over x cubed is x squared x minus one quantity squared over x minus one quantity squared just goes away altogether. And then we're left with x minus two on the top because the one on the bottom canceled with one on the top. Okay, now remember from video number one that all of our q's are gonna be taken from the reduced with one exception, and that exception are the excluded points. So I'm going to go ahead and put a box around that. It's my little reminder that I must answer that Q first. So this guy needs to be addressed first. The excluded points are the points which make the denominator 0. 0, 1, 2. All the other Qs are going to come from the reduced function, which is good news because the reduced function is simpler and easier to work with. Let's start with the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, I let x equal 0. Well, this isn't actually possible. We have negative 2 over 0. You can never divide by 0. So I'm getting the conclusion that there's no y-intercept. Hmm, a little bit weird. x-intercept, we're supposed to set the numerator equal to 0. So we get x minus 2 equals 0, or x equals 2, giving us the ordered pair 2, 0. And this came from a factor which happened one time, so it's going to be a pass-through. Now, looking at this reduced rational function, I can tell there's going to be a VA, and the VA is going to be at x equals 0. Remember, equations are best, not just a number. Don't just say 0. Say x equals 0. And because the power is even, we know that's going to be a stay. So I'm going to put a little subscript S. Now, all excluded points must be accounted for. They either become VAs or they become holes, one or the other. Well, we got the VA taken care of, so there's two left, and that is the number 1 which is going to be a hole, but there's another one, 2. To figure out the corresponding y value, we have to plug these values in to the reduced. So let's go ahead and do that up here. The first thing I'm going to plug in is 1. And when I plug in 1, I get 1 minus 2 over 1 squared, which is negative 1 over 1, or negative 1. Hole at 1, negative 1. The second hole is when x equals 2. So that's going to be 2 minus 2 over 2 squared, or 0 over 4. And that's going to be 0. The holes are accounted for. And you might note that the hole is the same as the x-intercept, and that can sometimes happen. And the hole takes precedence, so you'll see how I deal with that when it's time to graph. Now, the degree of the numerator is 1, the degree of the denominator is 2, and when the top degree is smaller than the bottom, we have an HA situation, and it's going to be y equals 0. OK, now for crossings, we're going to set our reduced rational function equal to our ha. Or x minus 2 over x squared equals 0, or 0 over 1. Cross multiplying, we get x minus 2 equals 0, and subsequently x equals 2. So there is a crossing when x equals 2. And we might ask ourselves, well, what are we crossing? And we're crossing the HA, which happens at y equals 0. So this point 2, 0 is just something special. It is a crossing. It is a hole. It is also an x-intercept. It's like quite the, quite the point. So let's go ahead and graph this and see how it's all going to play out. It's very exciting, I'm sure. So from the last video, you know I like to graph the asymptotes first. So we have a VA at x equals 0, which is really just the y-axis. So I'm going to put hash marks there. 
Uh, there's an HA at y equals zero. I'm gonna go ahead and put hash marks there. Asymptote, don't touch. Uh, we've got no y-intercepts, but we do have an x-intercept crossing hull at two. Uh, the hull is gonna take precedence. So I'm gonna do this in a different color, just so you can see it better. I'm gonna put an open circle there, but it's also a crossing. And I like to denote my crossings with a little x. There's another hull, and that's at one negative one. So let me go ahead and put that point there, or that non-point, I should say, because it's a hull, so it's like open circle situation. One negative one. And really, I, I actually have used all the cues at this point, um, and I'm ready to graph. I don't think I need anything else. I think I'm ready to go. When I ask my students, where should we start to graph, they usually gravitate toward the points. And the points here are in the lower right-hand area. So that's where I'm going to start. And it's going to be a boomerang. But because there is this crossing, I know I have to cross over. So I'm going to start here by the lower portion of the y-axis. I'm going to go over the hole, continue up, cross over, and then re-approach towards that HA. Now, I know at this VA, this is a stay. I have a choice of going up and making a boomerang up top or a boomerang down on the bottom, and I know it's got to be down at the bottom because this VA was a stay, as indicated by this little S here, as indicated by this power here, which was even. So I'm going to stay and then reach for the HA. To conclude, I'm going to label everything, and your teacher is going to be very happy if you do this because your poor teacher has to grade tons of these graphs, and it becomes a challenge to look at them over and over again. So this is x equals 0. This here is y equals 0. This is a hull at 2, 0. And there's another hull at 1, negative 1. This graph is rock star.